So we need to find different ways of dealing with things. And, and when we look at the criminal justice system, it's steeped in history, tradition, and legislation. It doesn't always leave victims and witnesses feeling satisfied with what they've experienced, nor, nor offenders for that matter, on occasions feeling they've been dealt with fairly. I, I think digitalization can uh, revolutionize radically changed the criminal justice system for the better, not just the body-worn videos, um, but the way in which we deal with prosecutions. Um, we've got body-worn video footage in a hospital, a place where people are sick and should be getting treated, and the medical professional should be given the space and safety to treat them. And we've got body-worn video footage of a man threatening to kill a doctor, threatening to kill his children, making the most violent, unpleasant, um, uh, 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 offensive remarks and attempts to harm people. And you can see people all around um, getting distressed by this individual's behaviour on the body worn video. The magistrate sentencing made comment that as a result of what I've seen, um, you are now going to get a stiffer sentence uh, because I've seen the harm you've done. They are an excellent way of gathering evidence to make sure that we bring offenders to justice. And we're finding it makes a massive difference around uh, domestic violence, where officers are recording the terrible state of disarray injury and harm that's caused by domestic abuse. It gives victims and survivors the strength to carry that prosecution through, but we're finding that on lots of crime types. So it's making for speedier justice. So we're finding that where we've got body-worn video footage that does tend to attribute that sort of evidence, we're finding earlier admissions by suspects, and then we're finding earlier guilty pleas, which is better justice and cheaper justice. We're also finding some other interesting things. We, we find that when the camera is on, it can on occasions, because part of the use of the camera is that it's got a screen which will show the individual being recorded what's being recorded, it can mitigate and control the behaviour of the person that's being recorded, so less assaults on officers. And we also believe it professionalises the behaviour of the officer, so we, we're getting less complaints against police officers, so we think it will build trust and confidence through building transparency into policing. The, the police officers um, really can see the use of them. They, they, they're, they're in policing because they believe in fairness and justice and they want to make a difference, they want to keep people safe. And, and many of them have said to me, this is the best bit of equipment I've ever been given to achieve those aims. Some officers are less keen than others. I, I think it's a question of good leadership and, and enlightenment. But the, I, I don't believe there are fundamental, fundamental ethical objections to it full stop once you've had an informed view of how it's used. You say controversy and I, and I don't take the challenge lightly, I take it very seriously, that we're using te new technology and we're gathering sometimes very personal data when you're talking about um, offences against individuals. But, but actually we've been using it within Hampshire and Isle of Wight since about 2007. We underwent a pilot on the Isle of Wight um, where every officer and community support officer is personally issued with the cameras. Before we did the pilot we surveyed the public in terms of attitudes about the use of body-worn video. And about 90% of the public were in favour of the police using this technology. We've surveyed, and Portsmouth University have done this work for us. You'll find, no doubt, the findings online. But we've surveyed the public at the conclusion of the pilot and found that the attitudes and confidence towards the equipment has remained strong, in fact, grown. And we've seen some really good outcomes, reduction in complaints against police and better justice, as I've said. So although you say it's controversial, and I don't take the responsibilities that go with it lightly, I, I personally believe this has got really strong public support for all of the right reasons I explained.